Hey, what's up? This is Riyadh from Ox Coding. In this video, we will create page key data source for pagination. So in repository, new Kotlin class movie data source. And it extends page kit data source. Let's import these. Here we are using this class because we need to load data based on page number. If we see the link, we can see that we have to pass a page number. There are other classes in this paging library like item key data source, positional data source, but in our case we need to use page kit data source. Here the parameter is int which is the key and movie because we are getting a list of type movie. Now let's implement the members alt enter on windows and option enter on mac. And here we select all three of them. OK. Here load initial is to load the initial data. So here we'll request the first page. Load after is to load the next page. Load after will be called when user scrolls down. And load before to load the previous page. This will be called when user scrolls up. But we don't need to do anything here because our recycler view will hold the previous data. Let's remove these. And here the constructor has parameters, the movie DV interface and composite disposable. Now in movie DV client we add constant variable first page which is 1 and post per page which is 20. And here we declare variable page equal first page and a mutable live data of network state. Now in load initial we post the value of network state dot loading in mutable live data network state. Now inside composite disposable we call api service dot get popular movie with page which is the first page and this will return a single observable. Now subscribe on scheduler dot io dot subscribe. This is very similar to what we did before. Here if we get the response successfully callback dot on result we pass the movie list the previous page key is null and the next page key is page plus one so this will be two this callback is of load initial callback type with key and value which is movie this class belongs to paging library and here we post the value of network state loaded in this network state mutable live data and in throwable we post network state error and this error log. Now in load after, this will be similar to load initial. So let's copy this and paste. And here we need to put params.key. This is the next page number. This will be incremented automatically. We only need to change things here. So let's remove these. If total page is greater or equal than params.key, which means we have more pages to load. We have this total page variable in movie response. Here is the total page. Now callback.onResult, we pass the movie list and then the next page key, which is params.key plus one. We don't have to put previous page key here. Then we post network state.loaded in network state mutable live data and else which means we don't have any more pages network state dot post value here we need a different message so let's create another variable in network state variable end of list and in init block we pass status failed and message you have reached the end and here we post the value of network state end of list and in load after we'll keep this empty so that's all for this video, see you guys in the next one.